Right lads, <coughs> bit of bushcraft, bit of shooting, tips, tricks and handy hints and anything else I can think of. So yeah, gonna blag it, gonna wing it, sun's out, plums out. And ladies, and wrong uns. Right, so a few days out in the Ulu. Uh, seen this place before. I picked this on purpose. There's zero chance of any Karens walking around, yes, and ringing the Stasi like they do, or the Fire Brigade like they do, or they come up if they're feeling really tough and start giving it that. No chance this weekend, guys. Happy days, right? So, I'm going to get my gear set up. I've got a few tips, tricks, and Andy Love Spuds. I've got a bit of gear that has been handcrafted, uh, made by myself. Yes, manufactured in the man cave at home. So, I'll have a look at that and uh, maybe a few other bits and bobs. So, it's Thursday afternoon now, and I'm here till Sunday. So, it's going to be a two hour bonanza, isn't it? You know it is. No, I wasn't throwing a stick for you, Hundis. Hey, you little bastard. Come back with me tent peg, you little bastard. Come here. That's mine. That's mine. They're the real men. You can have a gay one. Go on. Shut off and busy. I ain't throwing a stick. Oh, leg day for fun.
Right, ladies and gentlemen, weirdos and wrong ones. Yes, it's a bed. Because this fat old man lying on the floor doesn't get any sleep anymore. I'm rolling around like that, like I've just ate all the crayons. So now I have to put myself up off the ground or not come out at all and that ain't happening so we have a bed not very compact really is it not very light can't be bushcraft now can it because I've got a bed cheers Betty. worth its weight in gold this is mate out here for this old bastard Put my bed up. We can think about some other jobs. Lots of jobs to do before dark o'clock. It's 20 past 17 now, so we better get a bit of a jilly on. Not bomber. You're on the deck. Yes, you are. It's off from filming. <laughs> cheeky little roll mat. That goes on there, and then I've got a cheeky little flatable pillow from uh, Decathlon. It's all right, but 15 quid. I bit the bullet there. 15 sovs, but I need a pillar because I'm fat, I'm old, I'm sweating, I can't get any gonk at night if I'm lying on the floor like a crayon eater. You know who they are. Can we do the pillow joke? We've got to do the old jokes, haven't we? I've got to blow this off, yeah. And it takes a big puff. I'll have to do it myself because there's only me here. <sighs> Nearly hit me snooze. <sighs> Blood tobacco poisoning. <sighs> 15 quid! At least Dick Serpin wore a mask. Ah, the old green time machine. Never leave home without it. It is British Army issue, medium weight, modular, green maggot, fart sack, gonk bag, whatever you want to call it. There's plenty of names for this in the British Army. Green time machine. Fart sack, dust bag, I've mentioned them. Out it comes. Ooh, that is my best friend out here. I love you. I'll let you eat some crayons too. Nearly there. Come on, hun, Yevil. Right guys, I think we need a few modifications here. Yes, I need to uh, lift that up a bit, I think. I always carry a bit of spare. Paracord. In me pocket. 
because at the moment it looks like a tramp's hat I'm gonna just make that little bit more room oh made whittled toggles oh they're coming handy out here I no longer have a tramp's hat. And that, my friends, has given me a little bit more headroom. Plus, more chance of the rain rolling off if Mother Nature opens her backside on me. Isn't that right, Hundy Herbal? All right, we'll go get the rabbits later.
Time for the bro thing, lads. Ladies, widows, wrong ones. Bro time. British Army issue. SA80 cleaning roll. For your cleaning kit, tools. Now turned into a brew kit. With a bit of coffee, a bit of sugar, milk's down there, and some olive oil. That hasn't solidified because it's not cold. Happy days. But I'm not going to go into the coffee. I'm going to root around here for the fancy coffee. In a bag. Convenience is its finest. Kettle's boiling. It has been for quite a while. Mm, right. This professor is where the leather gloves come in. Guess what I forgot. No, I didn't. It'll come out later. Sugar. Want a cheeky bit of milk that wasn't replenished from last weekend and the weekend before. Because I have been out. I've been out in a, quite a lot. I've been out in that big mad storm. I put some photographs up. I just didn't film it. All the time after that. All the time after that. But this weekend I brought my camera. So I've been saving all the one-liners for now, you know what I'm saying? Happy days. Let that stew for a while, brew even, stews later. It's getting worse. If it's not snowing, we're not going.
Make yourself some scoff. Food bag. What have we got in here? I think we're going to have something a bit simple. Minestrone soup. And pasta, tips, tricks, and the ints, love spuds, whatever you want to call it. Cheap, easy meal for two. Pasta, minestrone soup. Right, let's get on it. On it like a car bonnet. Right, the old Swedish army issue. Trangia. Good bit of kit. If you can get in it. We're gonna need that. Not gonna need them. Gonna need that. Some water. Pasta and some spices. And the minestrone soup. Right, I'll go and get my spice kit out. I've made a new one. Like a leather spice kit. Right, I'll get this on the boil. Then we're going to get the spice kit. And I might have to turn the light on, might I? Because it's getting a bit dark now. Time is now uh, 10 to 19 o'clock. It's going a bit dark. Right. Herbs and spices. Leather pouch. Yeah, I've been playing. And there's all my little subs of spices. And little screw lid tins. We've got cayenne. We've got paprika. We've got screaming delkin spices you know i'm having some of that you know it makes sense and there's all loads of goodies other in there so i'm just going to put that in the water a few screaming delkin spices it's a nice little mix that i'll have a bit of that oh and what you've got to do with your spices is when you're putting them in the pot chuck most of it all over the floor you know to bring in the animals And stuff. Happy days. Right, I'll get that on the boil. In fact, I'm gonna get some uh, lights gone out, El Bastardo. Yeah. I like to put the little small macaroni thing. Right. Got a bit of card was full there, so I don't know what I filmed. I don't know what I, I, I didn't film, but either way, I've got a pot with some water in, and I put a few screaming duck and spices in there. And now I'm just gonna. Pasta in, get that boiled. There we go. A bit of pasta, get the lid on, get it on the fire, and that will sit on there very nicely. But it's going to get very hot. Believe it or not, it's on a fire. Yeah, there we go. Right, wait for that to boil. Yeah, and we'll get the pasta cooked. Happy days. Wait for the light to go out, and there it goes. There we go. Right, wood.
and there we have minestrone soup and pasta that is a top out on the bank out in the bush out in the fields survival shits hit the fan type of food quick and easy but it's going to be hot no that was worth waiting for and right it's gone out mm. right managed to trough that only just and now I'm a big fat effer lump right I think I'll have a, a snooze and then we're gonna have an hour on the bunnies hey we're gonna have an hour on the bunnies in the love hut see if we can get something to eat for tomorrow if not it's corned beef and nettles again right let's go and have an hour on the bunnies the lights off stop bumping my gums and see if anything turns up Yeah, well, not happening there. Seen a few bunnies, but they're not hanging around long enough for a bit dink. <sighs> Think it's time to retire. Retire to the green time machine. Transport myself to tomorrow morning. Right, come on, Unjevil, let's go bed. It's time for some quality gonk. You're gonna let me in, like? Are you gonna let me in my gonk bag? Oi, talking to you. Oi, Hundis, I need him to get into my DOS bag, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm on bed, see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, Schwarzy Klinker, Klinky Schwarzen. It's very early. He got me up. He got me up, he wanted breakfast. So now I'm up. Don't normally get up this early because I'm not a morning person, as you damn well bloody know. Yeah, I'm going to get up now, I'm going to put the kettle on, I'm going to uh, make a brew and make some breakfast, because I need my breakfast, because I'm building up my body to the size of a cow, ooh. Size of a cow, ooh. So... That's silly. Got quite a few tips, tricks. And Andy loves spuds. 
actually, so I might show you a few. Yeah, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? It'd be rude not, not to show you lot what I've been doing while you think I've been sat in my house pulling my pud. I haven't. I've got a leather bushcraft belt, you've probably seen it. I made that myself. And I've got a few other goodies. Let me sit there, just stay there, don't go anywhere, you fat lazy slob. Sit on your couch with your pizzas. And I'll be back in a second. I made a little Sammy reindeer pouch. You can have coffee in it and shit like that, but what I've had it, it's my Tinder pouch. That's all my tinder for lighting fires. All different stuff in there, look. There's all sorts in there. We'll have a mooch at that as well. We'll light it with that this morning. Tips, tricks, and he loves buds. Right, so that's the uh, pouch. Tinder pouch. And it clips on my belt like that. Doesn't it? It looks like Father Christmas's nutsack, doesn't it? It does. When I swing him from your pouch, it looks like bad grandpa and his testicles are hanging out the side of his shorts. You know, it makes sense. What do you want? You've had food. My turn now, bro. And then I can have... I'm going to have... You can have some black pudding. I brought you some black pudding so I can build you up. So you've got the body of the size of a cow. It's my new song, it's been going round in my head this morning. Can't get it out of me nut now. Right, let's do some bushcraft stuff over there. To the bushcraft station. Come on, you can come with us, you fat bastards. So, that's promised some tips, tricks. Handy love spuds. Still not alive yet. I haven't had my coffee, have I? So, let's make a coffee. Let's set these off for a start. Right. I'm going to have Father Christmas, he's nuts like. I'll get this out. So, it's, uh, it's cotton wool. Cotton wool and hand sanitizer. The thing is, yeah, because it's everywhere, I select the, uh, the, the stronger stuff with the 73% alcohol in. And... I've obviously just stuck it in a, a snooze tub there, but brilliant for lighting fires. It's a one strike wonder, that goes up great guns. So, bog standard cotton wool from the bird section of Home Bargains and hand sanitizer. Normally, it's, a, it's usually a 70%, yeah? You know this, bathe your hands in it stuff you know the Karens use they bathe themselves in it don't they because the television told them to yeah and then it goes up great guns guys so I'll show you that in a second I'm just going to get some wood prepared because you've got to prepare your fire first you can't just light that and go oh, shit I've got no gun go running around looking for it come back your little fur ball's gone out on it right so prepare the fire first, then we'll get going. I've got a few sticks, just need to snap a few. So I'll get me gloves back on, because these leather gloves are good at one, protecting your hands, two, yeah, keeping your hands warm, and three, scaring everything off because they're yellow. Right, prepare the fire. Where have you gone, dog? Get over there. Oh. He's firing out a fudge dragon. <laughs> right, so I've got a bit of birch bark as well. Left over from last night. I'll uh, I'll chuck that on as well. So, yeah, if you do get this, guys, yeah, just check it is uh, hand sanitizer and it's 70% uh, alcohol. This is 73 as I say. I get the 73% stuff because I see it in my job. I see it everywhere and I just check it and I say can I have some hand sanitizer to, to keep me free from the corona lurgy? And they say of course you can so I'll fill my bag with the stuff. You know as you do. Because I don't wash my hands with it. I light fires with it. Right. 
and it does go up very 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 easily when you can get in I've got a tripod here and I didn't put that there right did I there we go so a little bit of a mishap that's gone up great guns there we go a bit of birch bark and we're on a winner kids we're on a winner we're on a winner there we go let's put that back and that's it we have fire so again always have your firewood prepared you don't want to be running around looking for that it's half the bottle hand sanitizer don't cake your hands in it your hands will fall off put it in your bug out bag your survival bag your bushcraft bag your fire kit your fire pouch Santa's little nutsack fire pouch and it works in rain, wind or shine guys so just same as Vaseline but you can usually pick some up can't you lying around or well, if you go shopping it's always in the entrance isn't it yeah walk in pretend you're going shopping nick all the hand sanitizer and pop smoke just make sure that the entrance doors don't close behind you because you have to go all the way around and walk back to the tills again and that's poo building up my body to the size of a guy I told you it was stuck in my head right kettle's on That's it, kettle's boiled. I'm gonna have my morning brew. Uh, what shall I have? Uh, I haven't made a decision. I haven't made a decision on what I'm gonna have. I know I'm having coffee, but I don't know if it's our bog standard or fancy. I'm gonna have two fancies to wake me up. I'll have to go and get that because I stash it everywhere, little packet coffees. And I know there's some hiding in my skyrocket. Anyway, I'll make me coffee. Yeah, kettle's boiled. I'll make me coffee. I'll, sa I'll, I'll save the footage for some good stuff instead of me making a brew. Because this is going to be a two hour video anyway. Because I'm here till Sunday. And I've probably done an hour's worth already. So, right. See you in a bit, kids, when I'm drinking me. Quaffy. Oh look, a man on YouTube making coffee. Oh look, he's making coffee in a cup. Better do the dishes from last night, hadn't I? Oh, God. I wouldn't be able to survive without coffee in the morning. I wouldn't. That'd be it. Game over.
Red Hawthorne. Should have ordered it really. <laughs> Medic! Foggy that, isn't it? Stone away black pudding. None of that cheap stuff. That's the ticket, duck egg, stone away black pudding, butcher's sausages, butcher's bacon. And I've saved a bit for Hundjeven. Some more spices.
I don't keep any ketchup in the spice uh, jar tub. There we go. You know it makes sense. Out with the snooze. Oh. In with the food. Hmm. Oh. Welsh dragon sausages. They're not too shabby. Hmm. Spicy. Oh, that boiled quick. I have to build a dining table, aren't I? Make it out of crystal. Or wood. Yeah, wood. Wood's good. <sighs> yeah, that was it. Multi purpose, isn't it? I've got a table. And it's made of wood. No, it's not whiskey. It's very strong. <sighs> Aldi cordial. In those little little bottles, extra strong that you can put in your pocket. So I'll fill a stainless flask up with it. Tips, tricks. And the ints. I'll have me brew after this. There we go. You can't see it, but that is apple and black currant. Happy days. Skull Tommy fan. I needed a cold drink. Sausage. Mouth. Sausage in mouth. Tips, tricks, and the in. How to eat. What do you want? You can smell it, can't you? It's all right. I've saved you some black pudding. I've got you a bit of black pudding, mate. Don't worry about that. Happy days. Oh, it's like white meaty ox. I look like a joker. Right, finish my breakfast. See you in a bit. Here you go, mate. Breakfast for you two. Brew, snooze, set me up for today. Siberia, very strong and extremely black because we know black snooze matters. 43 milligrams, ooh, it's the good stuff. It's not from Siberia, it's from Sweden. Siberia's in Russia and if, if it was from Siberia I wouldn't throw it away <laughs> oh happy days ah yeah you know you're a spastic when you pour your own vodka away that you've bought with your money that you've earned for internet thumbs up 
that's when you know you're a spastic. They'll do anything the television tells them to do. And that's interweb. Oh, little Robin. I have to give him something to eat. I wonder if he likes a full English. Probably not. Have an hour in the love up. See if we can get some dinner. Well, that's two hours. Nothing. No squirrels. No pigeons. Just one rabbit. But he was only a young one. Came hopping out. So I left him alone. Well, there's been everything else. From jackdaws to coots, magpies, mallard, collared doves, woodpeckers, everything. Everything bar food. It's Grandad Nap o'clock. Woodpecker likes peanut butter. It's got it stuck all over its beak. Don't eat too much, mate. It'll make you ill. Won't be able to fly. Be a fatty. That's for the rats. Right. Drop the position. Duck. There's your bed. Down to still adjust. Oh. That's it. I'm having a gonk. I'm a gonk and you're in me fart sack. Can't believe you, dog. You're just a bed hogger. Right, there we, I'm having some kip. You stay there and be white. Fifteen quid. Right guys, tips, tricks, and he loves spuds. Got a little summer here, some of you might like, some of you might not, but then who cares? You might like it. Okie dokie. So, let's have a look at this little chestnut. I've doctored it a little bit, I've done a bit of screaming delkins on it, and got it down to a T. Happy days. So, what we have here is a uh, uh, an LMG pouch, British Army issue, Osprey LMG pouch, but don't worry about that because it's now to do with the pouch, it's what's in it. One, two, four. three. Oh, that can go back in there for now because we don't need that, that's dead gay. It's gayer than a whole herd of gay things beginning with G. Right, so what we've got here is that, that and that and I need to get something else. So I'll be back in two shakes of a donkey's tail. Tail. Right guys, what I've got here is this stainless steel. Yeah, and it's basically a little spirit burner. A little spirit burner, we'll just leave that there for now. And I've got a little pot that goes with it. That's a kid's Ikea play pot. Kitchen. 
So when kids are playing, making rabbit stews in the kitchen, it's a little, uh, little pot that's been shrunk down to kids' size. Okie dokie. And we're going to boil some water in it. So what I've done is on the inside, a little bit of stainless steel mesh. Okay, from a pound, you know them sieves? Yeah, it's stainless steel mesh sieve from pound shop. That's where stuff's a quid, isn't it? A pound shop. And then in there is uh, some, uh, what do you call it, out of the attic? What's that stuff that's in the attic that doesn't burn? I can't remember what it's called. My head's gone. Yeah, buffed insulation. That's it, see, <laughs> got there in the end. I got a little bit of meths, yeah, and we're going to make a brew with that now, okay, and then I'll tell you where I got it from. I've also made a little screw lid one, and I got a little tin as well, seeing as we're on the subject, I got a little tin and done some tests. So firstly, I got a tin that fit in here, a little small one, and I did the same again. Wire mesh loft, uh, mesh loft insulation in there, and I lit it, and it took about 20 minutes to boil that. And then what I did, I did some more experiments. I just shoved it straight into that stainless steel cup, and I think it took about eight minutes to boil that and there's probably about three four I think it's about 300 mil I put in there I can't remember but I was doing like YouTube uh, but not on YouTube at home YouTube tests you know like dead gay tests and shit right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up I'm gonna put some water in there and I'm gonna boil it for a brew simple as that to show you that it works and it works quite bloody well unless it's windy then it might not do unless you've got a windshield Right guys, so I'm just going to fill that with mess. I'm going to chuck loads on the floor. There we go. So I filled that, a little bit too much in there. So I might just tip some of that. Oh no, it's soaking in, it's soaking in. I'm going to tip that away actually. Just that little excess off the top. So there we go, there's no excess there in our little experiment today. And we'll have a cup of coffee. Right, so. We'll place that there, and I'll bring the camera closer. ta -da! Right, so, let's get this little thing and put some water in it. I don't know how much it takes. I think I put about 300 ml in. There we go. There's a big brew anyway. Let's light that. The time is now, it's 15.58, so we'll do some timings. Timings, I like timings. 15.58, I'm not gonna be exact, just can't be asked. Let's get this lit. If it won't go off this, there we go, that's lit now. Oh yes, that's the thing with mess. You can't see it burning during daylight, but that is lit. You might just see a little waspy yellow flame on the top. 15.59. Right, let's stick that on. There's no windshield around it because it's not windy, but of course if it was, you're going to need a windshield. Right, there we go. Let's see. Right, I don't know if you can see that, but that's 11 minutes past 16 o'clock now. And we've got a rolling boil. Yeah, just that side, because the wind is slightly blowing it there, so that side's boiling. Obviously that side's out, it's just not got the rolling boil that side. So, yeah, that's outside. It took eight minutes in the house. Yeah, you do the maths for whatever that took. I can't remember what I did earlier. I'm getting old, you see. 
So now we have got a nice rolling boil. Happy days. So you set the lid off. Right, so what I'm going to do, I've just been and picked a load of nettles. So we're going to have a cup of nettle tea. Yes, right. So that burns for ages, that cup full of meths. It really does. Longer than you think it would, to be honest. Yeah, well, it did for me anyway. Right, I'm going to get the nettles in there, get it on a bar, having a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's going in now. Once they get scalded. Couldn't find me scrounging pouch, so just grab that. Right, that mess is dying down a bit now. It's not so much of a first flame, so I assume the mess is run out. But that's 14 minutes past. Yeah, in the house it burnt a hell of a lot longer, about 20 odd minutes. So it does differ from indoors, outdoors. Obviously, in the wind, yeah, that's the big factor. So I'll have to wait till that got off. I'm going to refill it. Yeah, fire it up. Get the old metal tea sorted. Bop, Tommer. Right, I've just blown that. Make sure it's gone out. We're going to end up like Nicky Louder otherwise. Let's do it the easy way. There you go. Looks nice or not anyway, so it goes up great guns, mess when it's warm. So, there we go, Nettle C on the go, can you not knock it? And that's just about done. Cup of tea. Good for your nettles, unless dogs or anglers have pissed on them, then they might be not as tasty. But at least I'll have a bit of salt on it for seasoning, won't it? But it'll see. I'll let that cool down a smidgen and then see if I need any sugar in it. <laughs> right, so the only downside with that thing is, of course, there's no lid. So you can't screw a, a sealable lid on and keep meths in it or save your mess. You're going to have to blow it out to save your mess, but you can't transport it like that. So you'll have to empty it back in a bottle in some way, shape, or form, or just let it burn dry. It's entirely up to you whether you're a meth saving kind of person. Yeah? Me, I like to save it. But I'm just going to let it burn dry. Why? Because I can. 
and then you'll all be wanting to know where to get them yeah I'll tell you in a bit while I'm having my nettle tea that has made me a nettle tea that has made me a nice nettle tea happy days and it all fits in an LMG pouch so instead of putting like machine gun rounds in times 100 you can get your brew kit stuff in it and a little bit of brew kit in there or some yeah some nettles oh <clears throat> nice that little tea right so where do you get them and what are they well some of these have worked it out mightn't is okay obviously it's gone cool now don't pick it up once it's just gone out because you'll burn your trotters but then again yeah do and then you'll learn by your mistakes okie dokie so basically what it is guys girls weirdos wrongans it is a little tea light holder you know the little candles so putting candles in and having on your coffee table at home okay where do you get it from ikea how much are they four quid do they come in stainless steel yes do they also come in brass or Chineseium brass yes so you can get brass be a real bush crafter yep and uh, of course they're not too shabby are they okay so as I say four quid for that pound shop for the stainless steel sieve yeah cut it with a pair of tin snips fold the edges over Put your loft insulation in, stick it in, fill it with mess, you've got a little burner. Okay, it doesn't fold up very small granted, but alright for a fiver. And now some of these will go out, make loads and sell them for a tenner. Because you profit people. Yeah. Somebody somewhere is going to do it, aren't they? Yeah. So there we go. Ikea. Four quid. Yeah. A few jobs on it. A fiver. Stainless steel. According to the label. Or you can get brass happy days so there we go tips tricks and andy love spuds there's the first one i've got some more tips tricks and andy love spuds coming up guys girls weirdos and wrong ones. but i'm thinking of putting them in because the video is going to be about 84 hours long if i do isn't it but i'll put a couple in got a couple in got loads planned for this year top bomber <sighs> hmm dog piss so I've got me dingly dangly do homemade tinder pouch that's me tinder pouch made it myself yes took some stitching that did I tell you and that's me little leather stamp just like on that little stainless flask happy days so we'll have a look what's in here and light the fire with it shall we mm, let's have a look so you've already seen that I've shoved the little snooze tub cotton wool and sanitizer we've got all oh, got some fat wood dust and shavings we've got oh some duped wine we've got of course birch bark what else is in here some more birch bark <laughs> and tips tricks and handy hints if you're going costa to buy your coffee which i never do i just go in to rob the stirrers yeah for tinder so again just for the nice little bit of dry wood just as uh, to build your fire up and that's it and there's another little bit of birch hanging in the bottom so that's it at the moment yeah me cottonwood vaseline i keep in my pocket should put some in there really but it doesn't matter yeah because if it's in your pocket you're a bushcrafter aren't you if it's in your bag you're not a bushcrafter yeah there you go right what we're going to use tell you what let's use a little bit of jute we'll get the fire going with that shall we or we'll try anyway you never know it might go pear shaped right 
I'll go and get some more birch bark. This is good stuff. Saving that. I'm going to get the crap stuff from over there off that dead log. Keep that out. We'll light the fire with that. I'm going to put two, well, four little balls on the end actually. So it looks dead bushcrafty. Right, birch bark. Right on this. So, jute twine, yeah, from Power Shop. You get rolls of it, yeah. Comes in big balls, doesn't it? And then you just cut bits off and fluff it up so it looks like a wig. Well, of course, the black smoke is all the oil out of the birch. He runs after sticks. Give us your stick. Ah. Eating the stick. He's eating the stick. It's not a crayon.
dog food. Come on, mate. Here you go. Bushcraft because it's orange. Yeah, I know I might have to make one one day. <laughs> Let's have some scoff. I am going all Swedish tonight. I have got Schutbuller. I have. Potatoes, Och, Lingon Silt, very Swedish, so it is, meatballs, and they are Swedish meatballs, yeah, not them cheap crap, unbagging spuds, they're not from Sweden, and Lingon Silt, very Swedish, so it's a Swedish thing isn't it, meatballs, uh, they usually have potatoes mousse, mashed potato I think it is with it, and uh, lingon jam, happy days, and then we've got a very hot pan because I wasn't watching it, ooh that is a hot pan, smoking, we'll just leave that a second, and uh, that's our scuff tonight, it's not rabbit, it's not squirrel, it's not pigeon is it? We'll have to improvise, adapt and overcome. Oh, Shizer. Shizer, Shizer, Hauser. Never mind. I don't know which one this. Is it sliced or is it? Oh, it's the sliced one with the ham. And because we're going all Swedish, I've got to have oh, a better Swedish grill crudda. They don't normally put this on it. But I'm having it. Then they have a brown sauce with it, brun sauce, which means brown sauce, but it's not gravy like we have gravy here in good old Blighty. It's more of a creamy brown sauce. It's like a creamy gravy. We haven't got any of that.
I bought a big pot of Lingon silt from Ikea and I've just put it in a little jam jar so it's not Dewar's or whatever it's called Wilkin and Sons actually this one yeah you know when you stay in a hotel and you rob all the condiments and take it out bushcrafting yeah you know where I'm coming from There's quite a bit of liquid in them potatoes, to be honest. A bit more than normal. So we'll blitz that off, shall we? Another light. And that'll do. Oh, where's me jam? Got to have me jam. You don't mix it in, you have it on the side. Have it on the side. Mm. Like that.
Let's have an hour in the love hut. See if we can get some of those pesky rabbits. Or rats. I'm not going to eat them though. Right. It's 22 o'clock. Hour and a half. <clears throat> Just that one bunny came out over there, but it was only young and I think, so I thought I'd give him a pass. Right. So that'll do a pot shot. A couple of pot shots at the old swinging lead. Happy days, right. Swinging lead. Time for bed. <sighs> oh, it'd be nice to get into. One scratcher. Yes. Ah. If them geese shut up, they'll be getting pellet rushed tomorrow. Ah. Day two of me socks. Quite funky. Oh. Yeah, stuck to me feet. Never mind. I'm driving me fart sack. <laughs> night night. I do like this bed. Pressing sleeping on the floor. Yes. Right. See you later. I'm off to gonk. One of the lights. 